guys welcome back so today is going to be a little different because I know we've gotten kind of used to having Caleb here to do these masks with me but unfortunately he is still not yet back from his business trip so before I actually get to the mask part Caleb's skin is basically like he is the poster child for absolute perfect normal skin his skin is never shiny, never greasy, never dry. It is just perfect. And so the product I want to try today is the last product in that Bulldog oil control line that I haven't gotten a chance to test yet. And this is the Bulldog oil control face mask. So since he doesn't have oily skin, Caleb really didn't want to try this one with me anyway. But I have to say... I'm a little skeptical. I mean, an oil control face mask. It's not like you wear it all the time. So, I don't really understand how this mask is supposed to control oil. Is it like a prolonged effect or like slow release or what? Like, why is it so special? Whatever the reason, all I can say is I really hope this works. You know, if you've watched the past two or three videos of mine, you'll know that my skin has been just really, really crazy and awful this last week or two. Just, I think it's a combination of stress and the weather here. It's getting really hot and humid. And I think everything combined has just been like Armageddon for my face. So I am looking forward to trying this out and just taking a moment to relax and take a moment for me. So I'm going to go ahead and take my makeup off and I will be right back. Okay, so my face makeup is off and I guess let's just dig into the mask. So the description for this product says that this face mask contains witch hazel, willow bark, and juniper. Specially formulated with Cornish clay to minimize excess oil and deeply cleanse. Ooh, Cornish clay. Sounds fancy. Now, the rest of their oil control line is also made with willow bark, witch hazel, and juniper. So, I really like those products and they seem to perform really well on my skin. So, I'm hoping this isn't any different. What gets me, though is the directions say, once a week or as often as necessary, smooth a thick layer onto skin and leave for 5 to 10 minutes. Rinse with warm water. So how exactly is this supposed to control oil if I only use it once a week? I mean, I don't really know. Maybe it's magic or, you know, there's some brand new, like, high-tech ingredient in this. I don't know. So however this works, we're about to try it out. I've got my mirror here. I'm ready. I'm using my e.l.f. tool. I'll link it down below. I can never remember what the name of this tool is. I have used this in every video and I still don't know. Ooh! It looks kind of like... It smells like the rest of the products and it kind of looks like pancake batter. So I'm just going to go ahead and squeeze a little bit of this onto this mask tool and I guess just spread it on my face. See? It's a lot more watery than I was anticipating. I was anticipating it to be like really thick and creamy. Maybe it's just like the top layer that I've gotten though. I don't know. Okay, so I have the mask on and I think it's coming out a little bit thicker looking on camera than it actually looks in the mirror. When I think of clay, I think of like really, really thick, like a thick kind of mask, like very creamy, very thick. But this one, I don't know if it's just because I'm getting like you know, the little bottom initial layer and it everything kind of, you know, sinks to the bottom. I'm not sure if it's because it's that or if I just had different expectations, but it really didn't come out that creamy, I mean, which is okay. Um, 
It has a very strong smell like the rest of the line of their products, the oil control products. So I, again, I was expecting that, but if you don't like that smell, that kind of herby, fresh smell, you're not going to like this. It's kind of fun to watch this dry down because it's drying almost clear, but it still feels like a regular mud mask where when it starts to dry, it starts to feel really tight and like it'll crack. That's how this feels now. I'm sorry you don't have the random Caleb talk in this one. I miss it too. Dang, that's really cool. You can't even tell it's on in some places, but you can feel it. Like, it's really tight, and I feel like I'm going to crack it if I move around too much. Okay, guys, so it's been a little over five minutes now, and I can barely move my face. There's only a couple of spots left on my face where you can actually see where I put the product, because I must have put it a lot thicker in those areas, and... You almost can't see the rest of it. It's ridiculous how it dried down and almost looks clear. It's so crazy. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and give this another minute or two to see if some of these other areas dry down a little bit more. And then I'm going to go ahead and rinse this off and come back and let you know how I felt about it. Okay guys, so I just washed the mask off my face and... My skin really does feel great. I mean, I had to take off all the rest of my makeup, and you can probably see how awful my skin actually looks now, but it feels really, really good. So, this Bulldog Oil Control Face Mask actually feels a lot like the L'Oreal, like the charcoal one. I don't, I think it's like the Detox and Purify one. I don't, I don't really remember. I don't have the the sticker on here anymore but it feels a lot like it in terms of texture you know how it goes on and how it performs with the added benefit of it being oil control if you do like this one I recommend giving this one a try it feels exactly the same except for the smell which is from the willow bark and the juniper and the witch hazel and they seem to perform almost exactly the same now as far as it controlling oil, I mean, I can't really tell you yet because I just washed my face, so, I mean, if my face was oily now, after I just washed it, I, I would have bigger problems than this mask. It also doesn't leave your skin feeling dry or irritated or anything. The rest of the line does really well for me, so because it has a lot of the same ingredients, I knew that... It was probably a good bet, at least, that, you know, it wouldn't break out my skin, it wouldn't cause any hives, it wouldn't have, I wouldn't, you know, no irritation or anything, so that's a big plus for this, too, but oil control? I don't really know, but for a face mask, it felt great, and as far as everything else besides the oil control, I really did enjoy it, so two thumbs up for this one, the first one that we actually really liked. Thank you guys again so much for joining me on this one. I know it's a little different without Caleb here for the masks and his comments are very popular, <laughs> but I did special order a mask for him so the next one we try will be one that is especially for him and he didn't want to try this one anyway. He already poo-pooed it. So again, like always, if you enjoy these videos, don't forget to subscribe and give it a big thumbs up. And also leave a comment. Let me know if there's a, a mask that you absolutely love and think I should try. You know, maybe I'm... There's a lot of ones I haven't heard of, so I'm sure there are some other really amazing ones out there. So thank you guys again, and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Just kidding! So I know I probably look like a hot mess, but it is late in the day, after work, it's kind of been a rough one, but I really did want to come back and tell you how I ended up feeling about the oil control face mask. So as you know, 
I was a little skeptical. I mean, what is a mask really going to do for oil control? I mean, is it like slow release? What? What? So, after I put the mask on, took it off, came back here and talked to you guys, I was up for another maybe five or six hours and no makeup, no nothing. I literally just, I think I put on moisturizer and that was it. And I was really impressed with how well my skin was doing. You know, without anything on it, my skin normally gets oily within maybe two to three hours and it just it looks gross. But after using the mask at the, you know, five or six hour mark, I barely could tell my skin was oily at all and that was really impressive. But that's actually just secondary to what impressed me the most. And what impressed me the most was I took a shower later that night my skin was really, really soft. I thought, oh, well I guess that mask helped with that too. The next morning I got up and all the acne and you know the problems that my skin has been having were just completely gone. And kind of as an FYI, you know, I do use the rest of their products very religiously. It's basically the only brand I use because it's the only thing that's ever really worked for me. So that might have something to do with it too, just it all being, you know, the same brand and it's meant to work together. But one more thing that I think I've mentioned before but I kind of want to just reiterate is these products are all made in the UK. The UK has much stricter laws and regulations as to what can go into like your makeup and skincare products. So that could also have something to do with it too. <sighs> Who knows? I don't know, but I do know that this was a huge win for me. I will definitely be using it again. And it'll probably pop up in a favorites video, you know, who knows. But I just wanted to come back and let you know what I thought about it, how I felt, how it worked, and hopefully it helps. And so this time is for real. If you guys like this and enjoyed it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below. And I will really see you in my next video. Bye guys.